just when you think Nintendo can't do it himself any worse, they somehow manage to do it. Hey, why well, it's me, Mother Lacow, and from you, can, well, you can tell that I am not a very happy. I am not a. I am not a very happy Nintendo fan right now. Like, I've always, I always knew that Pokemon, Pokemon, Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee are going to be bad. I knew from the start they were going to be bad, but I did not think they would get to near act to Activision and near EA levels of bad. So for the spin-off of a game that allows you to go through the Kanto region, which I not like, considering that they've removed freaking like, like, this is basically Pokemon Yellow, but there's no wild battles. There's only trainer battles. So, it's, uh, again, I'm not even considering it a, a, main, a mainstream game, because I mean, a main series game. No matter what the people try to say it is, it's not. You, when you remove a core function of Pokemon, you will move it from the main, main series. This is a spin-off. And yet... Nintendo thinks, for this spinoff, they can charge 50 bucks for an accessory that allows you to get Mew. You heard me right. They, Nintendo plans to sell Mew for 50 bucks. And I'm just like, really? This is, this is how Nintendo falls. They don't fall because of their own goodness. They fall because they freaking grow, become greedy. They become EA, because that's this is what this is what Nintendo is directing themselves to. Like, like I had no problem with the cardboard stuff. Like cardboard stuff that's like overpriced. Okay, yeah, I can sort of see why people would not buy into that. Of course, that came back to bite Nintendo in the butt. So you think, okay, they probably learned. They probably won't do this again. They are literally charging fifty bucks for an accessory that. For Pokemon Go Plus, so you can get Mew. You can only get me get Mew from this freaking thing, and that pack and they have a package with it for Pokemon. Let's go Eevee and let's go Pikachu. That's a hundred bucks. They are charging a hot. Uh, uh, it's just like. I don't even have words to describe this. This is so anti-consumer that why is there not riots in the streets? Pokemon is now becoming a cash cow for Nintendo. And everyone's like shrugging off like, it's optional. The fact it's even optional is just, it just shows how greedy Nintendo is. How the Switch is success is not enough for them. How Nintendo Online is not enough for them. They're going to continue on and on and on doing this monetization of little functions. And, and people are not going to say anything because, you know, it's Nintendo. Sure, they give EA, EA crap about it whenever they try to pull this stuff. But, oh no, nobody would dare. Nobody dares to attack Nintendo. Nobody's going to dare to front Nintendo on this. Well, here I am. I'm confronting Nintendo on this because this is literally anti. This is literally anti-consumer at the start. Because if they do this and it, if it's a success, what's to stop them from doing it in the future? What's to stop them from selling all, selling Deoxys and Celebi and all these other mystical Pokemon? What's to sell them? What's to stop them from selling them as well, rather than like? That's, this is a pattern from from what I'm seeing with the with the Switch. Things that was normally free are now becoming something you have to pay for. Online features you're going to have to pay for. And now we got event Pokemon being sold. They are selling event Pokemon. It's just like, why is it not any more outrage? Like, why is nobody actually saying, okay, no, this is wrong. This is not something they should be allowed to do. But I'm, I'm not allowed, but, like, this is something they should get, re like, freaking backlash on. Yeah, I'll, everyone, I'll see, yeah, people, 
decided to go backlash on CD Projekt Red, but choose the first person shooter for genre. And I'm like thinking, like, really? You're giving them, you're giving CD Projekt Red flack for going for a freaking FPS, but no flack for Nintendo for monetizing Mew. Monetizing a Pokemon. Like, this is just one Pokemon. And that them monetizing it. Along with this Pokemon Go Plus thing. It's just like... People have the priorities in the wrong place. And it just goes to show. They'll give developers flag, but nope, no, no, no. Everything Nintendo makes... Gold. Is literally gold. I'm seeing a thing of like... No, you're... you're you're, you're lying to yourself. You are lying to yourself, and you should you should be you should feel bad about it. Like this this is this is literally the generation that Nintendo falls from grace. They could have had they could have gone back to where they were for, with the Wii after the mess with the Wii U with the Switch, but no, they're choosing to go to mon monetization. They're choosing to put less effort in more and get more money. Least the amount of effort and make more money based off that. Nintendo is greedy. They have finally shown their true colors. And honestly, I'm about done with them. I am like this weekend. I'm going to sell like a lot of my my, my all my two my DS and 3DS games. I'm trading them in, or as much as much as all all like that I could, can, that I can trade in, and then. I'm like, I'm literally just going to wait for, th I'm waiting for what happens with the, like, I'm not buying anything else for my Switch. I'm saying this now, I'm not buying anything else for the Switch. I am waiting. I am waiting to see what Nintendo does. With the, th with Final Emblem 3 houses. Because if it's as bad as, as I'm predicting it to be, then I'm selling my Switch and I'm being done with Nintendo. Like... Whatever my last thing from Nintendo was might be the last thing I do with Nintendo's games. Unless I decide to do emulators, but again, that's simulators. That, that's like not direct Nintendo stuff. And, and like, literally, I'm like, I don't want to do this. That's the thing. I li I've been with Nintendo since I was a kid. But I am not going to stand here and just let them do whatever they want and act like everything's fine. Everything is dandy. No, I'm not going to do it. I am not going to do it because this is literally just like. Because this is just, this is just literal like. <laughs> There's just so many things wrong with this. And it's just like nobody is like seemingly caring enough to like do anything about this. Nobody's caring to destroy this. No, nobody's caring to, like, say anything about this. They're just letting it happen. And I'm like, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to say anything just let this happen. I'm not going to do this and basically let them do whatever. If they want to do this, then that's fine. They can. But I'm not going to say anything and support them if this, is what the, if this is their choice. If this is their choice for their company to, to basically... Make money and not and make low pro, poor products. Basically, become the AAA AAA studio for EA. Then I'm not gonna stay. I'm not gonna stay. I'm taking. I'm I'm selling my stuff and I'm making my money while I can, and I'm gone. Like again, I don't want to, but Nintendo has basically forced this. This is basically Nintendo. Like I'm at my wit's end with Nintendo. Like. Like, this is just stuff that needs to be addressed. Things that need to be, like... Like... Like, I'm the only I feel like I'm the only one who's actually seeing this and dealing with it, because... It's like, at this point... Not a lot of people are out. Nobody else is like trying to do this. 
nobody else is trying to tackle this. And it's a bit disappointing because like this is Nintendo we're talking about. This is Nintendo. This is stuff that like this is again, this is Nintendo. This is Nintendo who has fallen. So it's like if if this is, if, if Nintendo can fall, then what's to stop every other cut? What's to stop Sony and Xbox? Well, Sony, because I figure Xbox is sort of at that point already. It's like what's to stop them from doing the exact same? Nothing. Nothing's really there to stop these companies from doing the exact same thing, and just you know being done with them. There's something to stop it, just nothing. Again, it just goes to show that this is what greed does. This is just straight up what greed does to people. If people can if people are basically if they allow themselves to be taken by it. Like if this this is what happens. I'm sorry for everyone who hates who hates this. But again, this is just personal thoughts. But, uh, yeah, that's... That's basically it when it comes to this stuff. Uh, again, I'm, I'm waiting, like again, if this really is what Nintendo does with freaking Switch, then I'm just done. Like it doesn't matter if they, they created Mario Odyssey, it doesn't matter if they created, um, uh, Breath of the Wild. Those may be good games, but they're made by a company that's anti-consumer. It's just people don't want to admit that. But yeah, um, that's basically it. Again, this is just mini rant I wanted to go on. Just, and may, maybe just a cautionary warning for everyone looking into buying Let's Go Poke Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee, along with people who are looking to buying Heroes. Again, I'm going off of what they've done here, what they've done with Pokemon Go, Go and Pokemon. Well, again, Pokemon Go was a Niantic thing, but again, that was also Pokemon proved. But mainly Pokemon Heroes. I not po Pokemon Heroes. Well, Pokemon Heroes and with the story. That's why I'm going. I'm going so cautious because I'm not. I can't. I'm aware of what they're doing, and I'm just. I'm waiting to see what happens. But yeah, hopefully this is a fun. This is like literally the last video I have to do on Rain On. Hopefully there's no more twists and turns that happen, and hopefully we can move on. And maybe I can do some more stuff. But yeah. That's basically it. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.